All right, let's go for the last game between me and Hello Friend. I'm playing Eldar against his Space Marine and Fatamorga. He, this is his first time playing a serious uh, Eldar match. He wants to know what Eldar is capable of, so I decided to go all out and pick Eldar for this matchup. Planet Eldar build, going for second singer, two guardians, aspect portal, plasma generator. Guardians will capture this point. Meanwhile, he goes for. Is it gonna be mass attacks again? I uh, hope not. <laughs> I'm starting to detect a pattern. It might not be the best idea to mass attacks all the time. I mean, there are some situations where you can go mass attacks, but I don't think it'll work against Eldar. I'm going for Ranger Squad immediately, a very powerful. Uh, Demoralizer, sniper unit that can be infiltrated in tier 1. Two guardians are out, gonna capture this, and look at this beautiful banner. Duck Eldars indeed. Plasma generator complete. Bone singers will move here, prepare for the listening post. He gets uh, two tactical marines. Yes, this man is mass tacking. He has read the bible, my friends. He loves mass tacks. How can you fault the man for loving what everybody loves? Sweet delicious cheese coming right up. Rangers in the mustard cloak and blue shoulder pads coming right out. Gonna reinforce the full to maximize the damage. Rangers uh, can't fire on a move. So you'll have to be really careful about picking your shots. Second listening pose going up. Infiltration research up, fleet of foot is up, basically a fleet of foot is, allows you to toggle movement speed at will, at a cost of your accuracy. And here's when I spotted this mass tax coming up, easy pickings. I don't think you realize that, look at that, the amount of moral damage. Yep, demoralized troops doesn't... has terrible accuracy. He arrives, attempts to deal some damage, but look at the amount of missed shots, he missed all of his volley. That is insane. One tactical marine has fallen. Still hasn't realized what's happening and I'm starting to train the Dark Reaper squad. Gonna get this listening post up. The, have the best way to deal with two tactical marine squad in this situation is just to rotate. Basically you shoot at one squad, see them break in morale, you shoot the other one so they can't inflict uh, any damage at all. Keep both squads demoralized as the Dark Reapers come out and finish the job. That's the plan anyway, but I decided to, uh, when the Space Marines start to chase down the Dark Reapers, it's time to do the Fleet of Foot Tango as I call it. Dark Reapers might be good at range, but they're really terrible uh, in melee. So the best move right now is to just run. Run around in circle. Right now we have 50 economy on Space Marine squad. It looks like they also messed up their micro. Focused too much on the offense and couldn't pay attention to what's going on here. Works to my advantage actually. Got a guardian squad activating fleet of foot while the rangers just keep firing. He does not realize that I have rangers here. No detection. No detection for him at all. That lets me just run around as the space marine gets slowly sniped to death by the rangers. While I wait for my second reaper squad. Yeah, this one's pretty brutal. <coughs> kind of sad to watch, actually. He should really get a scalp rope, but when I talked to him about it after the match, he said he doesn't know that there's a ranger squad that can infiltrate in tier one from the Eldar. So let's uh, just 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 call it an experience. He really needs this match experience then. Second uh, Reaper squad is out, and he finally gives up. Goes in for despair by smacking the webway assembly. <laughs> this space marine gets destroyed. No mercy. Basically death by firing range. Lots of damage. Dark Reaper squad is a range specialist. Good hit points, doesn't need the uh, set up time unlike fire warriors. Look at that. Doesn't inflict any serious damage at all. My economy is booming, 74-10. He gets 74 as well. 
but he's in a more bigger loss for him since he doesn't have any standing army left. Nothing to seriously stop me here. Couldn't get this listening post up in time. As I fit the foot all the way to his base, he fucked up on this one. Yes, he doesn't know. Look at that. That's 380 resource at least. That may be 500 requisition gone. Serious loss. I'm getting plasma generator. I want tier 2. Fleet of, fleet of foot activated. The rest of the elder army moves in for the kill. Upgrading his listening post and it's too late. He cancelled it. Good choice. I got 80-10 economy, he got 79-20. More power. Why doesn't he spend it on any troops? Could hit tier 2 now, but not sure whether it'll save him in the long run. <coughs> Take and hold triggered. Decide to get my guardians over here to e capture. Yeah, this listening post goes down real fast. Even though uh, Reapers do low damage against buildings, it's still pretty easy pickings if you mass enough of them. This Guardian will be decapping, move into another one. At your command. This lone scout you know, is just trying to get as much resource as possible, but his vision is very very poor, doesn't know what's going on across the map. Guardian decapturing both positions. Eldar's just gonna stroll up to his base and outrange everything he has. Any plan of his? He goes tier 2. Gets an armory, not sure why. Maybe assault marines will help. Two assault marines right now can possibly save the, the base. Tacticals doesn't actually work very well against uh, Eldar. Soul Shrine is complete, that's tier 2 for Eldar's. Enhanced optics going up. And decaptured the critical point, so no more take and hold. This worker is going to die to snipers. Will not make it up. Yeah, not enough repair speed. Meanwhile, I'm getting uh, two workers here, two bone singers here. You did not see it, but I teleport right across the map to get this webway get up. Why? Because I want my fire dragon to get in there quickly as possible. Fire Dragons is tier 2 anti-vehicle and anti-structure uh, unit. They can be used to finish the job real fast because this Dark Reaper is doing very very low damage against the buildings. Not fast enough. Webway complete. Gonna get this listening post up as well for additional resource. I'm basically taking over the map. 6220, he gets a machine cult. What will he get, I wonder? Okay, uh, webway gate complete, fire dragons enters the gate and will exit on the other side, saving the trip time. Gonna go there, reinforce, and start burning down buildings as they're supposed to be. Pretty fast game this. His major mistake is going for mass attacks. Doesn't work against Eldar, maybe if you get skull probes, but still goes straight for the power generator. Want to cripple him some more. Might be a wrong choice. Dreadnought's coming out. That's interesting. But look at how fast the buildings go down. The last of the scouts were killed. Taken hold for uh, strategic points control and critical points achieved. Dreadnought's coming out. It's gonna be very sad watching it die. To uh, fire dragons. Fire dragons can easily kite this beam off. Second fire dragon squad out. Just gonna toss this uh, blue, red balls at his face. Look at that. Half hit points in a few seconds. Just gonna flee the foot, move away, and done. Yep, no chance. Pretty one sided. He doesn't know. That's, that's the biggest problem, you know. If you don't know, you're pretty much fucked. Yeah, good game. Uh, Eldar is floating so much, controls so much of the map. Because if you, do, if you don't know anything about Eldars, you automatically lose. There's so much that you need to know about Eldar here. Good game.
Hope I taught uh, HelloFriend a lot of lessons about elders. And hope you guys enjoyed the match. Good night.